Good day, folks. Photo Bob here. Hey, it's been a while. Sorry about being inconsistent with my videos, but I've got things going on in my life that aren't for YouTube, so uh, that's just the way it is. So today I've got all this wood here to split. I'd say it's a good 20 foot long, and it goes down that direction. And uh, one other thing, I'd like to do a shout out to David Atkins. Hey, um, I saw you got your new Wolfridge wood splitter. It looks very nice. I like that color. Looks really, really sharp. And uh, lots of uh, success with that and what you're trying to achieve. Uh, you, you got a good machine there. So. <clears throat> By the way, I've already got this warmed up. One of the things I mentioned to Dan, Daniel, is lower that table just a little bit after you make your initial split. Daniel's got some very big wood there that he's handling. And one of the things I found is that when I have my table raised the whole way, it's not easy to pull it back. I'm not sure if we're getting that on film. So I mentioned to Daniel in uh, his video this morning that when you make your split, your first split, it's good to have your log lift, I called it a lift table, lowered a little bit. And the reason is, is when you bring that piece back from this side, it'll go right on there. If you have your lift the whole way up, it, it hits the side of it. So when you're dealing with big heavy wood, it helps. Another thing I got is some of uh, Tony's fluid film on here. That makes the wood slide a lot easier. I've only recently started using the fluid film on my uh, sorting table. What I'm doing, I'm going to split this smaller stuff first. That way it'll be on the bottom of the trailer and it'll be the last thing I stack in my wood pile as I bring the, uh, as I stack the wood out of the trailer. I'm going to remove my uh, splitter my four-way. The reason for that is I think I'm just going to split most of this stuff. I'm going to split this stuff in half. <clears throat> 